to the story I cannot shake this week. It's on the top of my mind, the tip of my tongue. Wow, it's embarrassing. I forgot. Just kidding. I'm talking about the president's memory and his ability to do the job. Now, see, if I actually forgot my train of thought like that every single time, at least once when I speak on camera, I probably wouldn't have this job, let alone be asking for four more years and a contract renewal. There have been an endless amount of gaffes. You've seen them. We have decisions that he's made that just make no sense. And the last week, the special counsel's report absolutely blowing the lid off any case for his mental capacity. And we're still in this, this, uh, t this tornado of downfall, of wondering when Joe Biden's going to drop the ball next. You know, he stored highly classified documents next to dog beds and firewood. This over the course of 40 years. He forgot when he served as vice president. He forgot when his son Bo died. That prompted him to erupt at his presser, at the special counsel, for even bringing up a moment like that in his life. I know there's some attention paid to some language in the report about my recollection of events. There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. Kind of felt bad, right? Did they overstep? Well, this week, the pock thickened. NBC reporting that two people familiar with her's five-hour interview say it was the president, not her or his staff, who first introduced Bo's death and the date. The president raising his son's death after being asked about his workflow as he went from a rental house in Virginia over to Delaware. We are seeing this downfall play out before our eyes, and it's kind of scary. But the administration still claims he's got all his marbles. And the president was in front of and on top of it all, coordinating and directing. Did anyone film that? <laughs> If you're telling us behind the scenes he is sharp and full of energy and on top of it and really in control and leading, you should film that. <laughs> exactly. Where is this, Joe? Because newsflash, America kind of needs a president. And you know this is a problem when the New York Times opens up the door, even ever so slightly, into what is really happening behind the scenes. Listen. Look, I, in interviewing all these people who have been around him, aides, administration officials, allies, congressional officials, even foreign diplomats, nobody has said to me they don't think he can do the job. Now, what a lot of people do can have concern about, including some people around him, is, you know, where this could lead. If he's able to make these decisions in the way he does now, that's one thing. What will it be like a year from now? Or if he wins another election five years from now? So it seems we have a tale of two Joes. Too bad we're only seeing the one and his empty public schedule and early lids. It makes me think, what we all see is what we are all getting. And as for the media out there, still trying to defend his acuity, Joe Rogan says it all. The crazy way he talks, where he forgets what he's talking about, he's not held accountable. Like, if you're gaslighting me about something that is so in my face, how can I trust you? He's 100% right. His administration, his aides, his campaign, they keep all want us to believe the closed-door Joe is on top of things. He's not the one that we're seeing. But his approval rating tells the real story. I looked at the real career average before coming out here. It's at 40% and dropping. That's a historic low. Nearly half of voters think that it's likely that Biden will be replaced as the nominee. Keep in mind, we're in February. I mean, take Michigan, for example. This came out this week on Fox News. He's down 25% with black voters from 2020. So what is Joe Biden's campaign going to do? They want to put him out there, especially when it comes to the black vote. So they thought they would have Joe go visit a family, a black family, and bring fried chicken. Genius. Oh, man, you got chicken fingers. You got, you got all the <laughs> I, I want the root of making sure I had the hamburger. So tell me about you guys. What you doing these days? I'm playing AAU basketball right now. Are you really? Are you guard? Yes, sir. There you go. I can hear the votes coming in now. Uh, that went over black voters, right? So is there a plan to win back the youth vote? Of course, TikTok. You know that app that China uses to shape the news and steal our personal information? The same app that he banned on federal devices? Game or commercials? Game. Game or halftime show? Game. 
Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey? Mama Kelsey. I understand she makes great chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Cringe, right? I guess the kids would say. But you got to say something. I think the new, I mean, the old, the new Daily Show host had it right. Fire everyone. <laughs> everyone. How do you go on TikTok and end up looking older? <laughs> Well, who's in charge? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.